Lunch Monday, y'all, and it's time for Weird Food Combinations Part 3. And we are using suggestions that you guys left in Weird Food Combinations Part 2. So make sure you guys leave a comment down below for more weird food combinations that we can try in the next video. And remember, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and push that thumbs up button if you like the video. And let's get started. So, first combination we have is from Fiora Lula. It is bananas and hot sauce. And you know it wouldn't be mishmash if we didn't include a real hot sauce into this, so. Oh, you didn't open it the way that you did, the, the, yeah. That impressed me last time. See, look at that. Except I split the banana. Oh, oh. That's a way to split the whole banana in half. It, oh. You know what it is though? I did find out why people do it. What? It doesn't put the strings on the. That makes sense. It's got some seeds up in there, so. And some kick. If yeah. you guys remember from the other video. Do I get to have it or? Oh, we're gonna share it. Yeah. Oh, I'll I get to dip it in. I get to stick it in your sauce. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, I got a lot on there. Jeez. Here we go. Oh, oh. oh. Mm hmm. Boy, does that bring back memories. Yep. You know what? <clears throat> If you used a regular hot sauce, this might actually be good. I, I could see people liking this, but red hot, sriracha, something like that. Yeah. That is hot. Mm-hmm. That's pretty good, actually. I would just do a little... I forgot how much this one kicks at the back of the throat. Mm-hmm. That's not bad, though. I mean, I, I, I'm gonna rate it as we're doing it and not probably the way it's intended. I would still give it, like, a four. Doing it this way. With a regular hot sauce, I could probably see it, like, being a five or a six. Easily, easily. Yeah, Woo, got the hiccups already. All right, tongue is still tingling. Um, <laughs> so the next one is by Sheba Greenberg, and she suggested doing a pepperoni peanut butter sandwich. Yeah. Gotta open it. I took the, I ripped the thing. I think you just squeeze and pull. Hair across top. Prefer method of birth control. <laughs> so wrong. <laughs> oh, you were lying in it. Oh. Oh yeah. All right. I think All this right. is gonna be good. This. Do you have any thoughts before we eat it? That's gonna taste like pee pee. pee, -pee. It's gonna taste like pee pee. It Peanut might. butter and pepperoni. That's a pee pee pee. All right. Do it. I'm not taking as big of bites this time, so I don't get the peanut butter stuck all over my mouth again. Mm -hmm. That's good. Peanut butter is overpowering the. Oh. Mm -mm. But it doesn't at the end. It's weird when you take. It up. builds up when you take that first bite with peanut butter, and then all of a sudden you just you're left. Once that peanut butter goes down, you throw. You're just left with pepperoni. Cheap. A good suggestion. Yeah. Seriously. Eight. Easy. All right, guys. So our next combination is Oreos and Skittles, brought to us by Coleman George. I hope I pronounced that right. George. Gotta go double stuff again. Gotta go double stuff. All right. Well, these are the ones the... that came apart easy. No, these are the ones that did not. You have to really finesse it, and my cookie broke. Oh, look at that. All right, you did better than me. Four Skittles. Four. Oh no. You gotta mix up the flavor a little bit. Yeah. Though. We're... And a purple. They gave us no red in this whole Skittle bag. Oh! Oh, I broke the- oh man, that's not easy to do. I broke the whole cookie. I broke the top. Alright, Skittles and Oreos. <laughs> you did the same thing. Yep. Alright. I was trying to put the whole thing in my mouth. Oh, this is so cool. Wow. Once the Skittles kick in, it's mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. At first I wasn't biting Skittles, because they were just- where mm -hmm. I was biting was placed perfectly around. <laughs> Um, that's good. Yeah. The Skittles last longer in your mouth than the Oreos. Mm -hmm. And it just gives that super sugary. This is like a one and done. I can eat a whole bag of Oreos. I can do maybe maybe two of these. Mm -hmm. But it's good. I'll give that a seven. Yeah, absolutely. Seven's good. All right, so the next one is brought to you by FM Surge. It is, he actually said toasty Cheez-Its, I believe. So that's why we went. That was, that was yeah. part of the requirement. So toasty we got Cheez-Its. We got the extra toasty ones. Yep. And Nutella. You know we got Nutella. I'm gonna make a sandwich out of them. Oh, that's a good idea. Right? I have to say, I've never had toasty Cheez-Its either. Oh, try one. I mean, I'm a big Cheez-It fan. It's really good. It's just like the burnt ones, which are the best ones. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, there we go. Uh, this seems like a lot of work, but it might be worth it if you're gonna sit here and munch it out. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. I don't know. No? I like it. No. I'd give it, a, I'd give it a six. I, I'll go. Mm. Yeah? I'll go four. Maybe five. That's weird for me. No? No. Yeah. Well, I enjoyed it. All right. So this combination was brought to us by Simple Tay. It is pickles and vanilla ice cream. Actually, I think the, the it, suggestion was ice cream, but we're using vanilla. I'll let you get the big pickle. <laughs> I think just scooping we'll it, scoop out it out again. This is like Nutella all over again. I'm going to lose my hat. I need a Nutella hat. <laughs> Somebody wrote that. <laughs> yep. All right. How do you put it in the middle? All right. So I can keep it there. Overpowers the vanilla ice cream. Mm. I think you need a stronger flavor ice cream. 
because this totally got overpowered. Or just a bigger scoop. I think the ice cream actually dulled the pickle. Really? Yeah. I'm getting all pickle. Oh, whole, oh, whole. Oh. That's cold though. Mm. All right, that one's better. More ice cream. More ice cream better. better on it? Yeah. And actually, it's really good because it dulls the salt of that a lot. That still get, definitely does. So you still get the pickle flavor, but you lose the saltiness from it. Okay. Just lower salt pickled anyway, but still. I'm giving that a nine. Yeah? That's almost as good as Nutella and pickle. Wow. I was gonna say eight. All right, guys, so from Swinford Pwemwemwai, Swin Swinford Pwem Men you know Menwi? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is the P or the M silent? We don't know. Okay. You can see the name for yourself. But we're doing Oreos and pickles. I figure the chips are just gonna be easier because we can literally just open it up. Well, it's gonna be like salty and sweet and. Oh, that's very odorful. Odorful! <laughs> that's what I called my last girlfriend. She didn't, she didn't approve. <laughs> it was in a Valentine's Day card, too. <laughs> oh brother. Oh man, that, that actually looks pretty good. I'm just gonna say, I mean it's the the chip actually just made it look like it was fit to be a together. Absolutely. Oh, except I'm dripping on myself. Alright, cheers. I'm not gonna oh take a whole bite, so. Mmm. Oh. Uh it's not bad, but it's weird. It's like the different stages of Oreos and pickles. Like your mind and your mouth just go, uh oh. Like, I think I'm hat. No. Wait. <laughs> We're not bad. Hmm. I don't know. I can't tell if I like it or not. They're so different. It doesn't mesh well. It feels like they're clashing. Yeah. If they made a pickle flavored Oreo, it might be a little bit different. Like they make yeah. little chips. Yeah. But a pickle in an Oreo, give it a four. Mm. Yeah. And our next suggestion is from AA11 uh -uh, Full, and it is pickles and pudding. Chocolate pudding. Chocolate pudding! Yeah. This is gonna be interesting. I haven't had a chocolate pudding since I was probably maybe like 12 years old. Yeah. Well, They're like, good. It brings back good memories, but... My daughter eats them all the time. That, that's about it. I think it's gonna be similar to Nutella, in all honesty. Yeah, it's oh. different. Different flavor, though. It's not hazelnutty. Yeah. That is really good. It is. Nutella's better, because that hazelnut, I think, really... Mm, makes it pop. Yeah. But this is really good. That is excellent. If you had it, we ran out of actual pickles, but if you had a regular pickle, you're just gonna dunk it in that. It would be super good. I gave Nutella a nine, so this isn't as good, but it's so close. Eight and a half. I, I think it's as good. Then what are you giving it? Nine. All right, guys, so the next one up is by Salty Kid, and he suggested doing a peanut butter and jelly sandwich basically made with Doritos instead of bread. And I gotta tell you guys, like, I was most excited when we were doing, writing down the ones we're gonna do. This one excited me. This sounds, I, I think the problem is you're gonna kinda have to find the flat chips. Yeah. Which is not easy to do, but the good part is, while you're hunting, you get to eat you Doritos. You the other ones. <laughs> like, oh, this isn't flat, that's terrible, huh? Mmm. Mmm. Holy peanut butter, Batman. Hey, yeah, do it, do it right. This seems like a lot of work, though, doesn't it? Well, if it's good, it's worth it. Alright, peanut butter and Doritos smells weird. As soon as I put that on there, I was like, that just doesn't smell right. Alright. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. That is mm -hmm. really good. It's... I add Doritos into my sandwiches a lot. Well, not a lot, but I don't have sandwiches very often. But when I do, I usually put chips in there. So peanut butter and jelly with Doritos in it, in the first place, is actually really, really good. And this just replaces the bread. Like, it's that without bread. I almost feel like the peanut butter and jelly overpower the Dorito. So I wonder if mm -hmm. one of the spicier Doritos would actually bring more Dorito flavor into it. Yeah, like the, uh, the spicy nacho cheese. Mm. Or like the blaze, or maybe just add less peanut butter and jelly. Still awesome. <laughs> this is really good. I'm gonna try it one more time just without making this sandwich. Okay. And just spreading a little bit of peanut butter and then just drop a little bit of jelly to see if. Like just one chip at a time yep. instead of like a sandwich? Like you're just making it like that. Cheers again. I think that way it didn't overpower it. That's way better. So one chip at a time and just slightly spread it. Oh, you know what would be really good? What's that mixed stuff? The goober stuff? Please. Yeah, where did peanut butter and jelly yeah, in so it? So all you gotta do is just brrr, and done. Oh, genius. <laughs> nine though. That's a nine. Easy. Excellent. Good call. All right, guys. So next combination we have suggested here is by Stephen M. And it is peanut butter, mayo, and pickle chips. Now we're There's gonna make a secret it. Secret method to do it, apparently. Yeah, we're gonna make it just the way you said. So peanut butter on one slice, mayo on the other. And we'll put the pickle chips on top. 
Oh, you got, you got a lot that? of peanut butter? I'm gonna... Here. You know what? Let's spread that out. All right, so then you put together. Which side do the pickles go on? I don't know. Why don't we put... Dilemma! Three and three. Three on that, three on this one. Fish this is a little one. This is for Josh. You combine. I'll combine. Blah! 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 Where's the knife? Kniff. Give it to me! <laughs> I'm just not sure how the two consistencies are gonna go together with the mayo. It's like and the slimy, thick, and then crispy. All right, cheers. I take back everything I just said. You like it? I think it's excellent. All right, let's try it this way. What side did you eat first? Like you ate, so you went mayo down. Yeah. Okay, it's different when you flip it because you get the peanut butter first and it helps tame that mayo. So which way do you like better? Peanut butter down. Peanut butter down. All right, let's try that. Oh, it is different. Because the peanut butter hits your mouth first and kind of coats it. I'm not a huge fan of it. I, I, I give it a yeah, four. I love this. I give it an eight. All right, guys, last one we got here is from Bobby Hood. And we got a banana fluff pickle maple syrup sandwich. What? What? <laughs> what? Okay. All right, I, Kermit the Frog. <laughs> become, <laughs> become little John all of a sudden. Yeah. Well, he's very green. He is. All right, I have not had fluff in, legit in yeah. forever. I almost want to say I've never had it, but I'm, I you guarantee, know you have. I guarantee I've had it at some point. My parents never bought it for me as a kid. I, yeah, I know. I remember because it's sticky as hell. Yeah, it is so sticky. So I'll let you spread it. <laughs> they make medication for that, man. <laughs> yeah, we saved the the last one here for the the uh, the most intricate, the most different parts. I actually don't think it's gonna be too bad. You. Wasn't the trick to like put this in the microwave? No, then it like Does it yeah. <laughs> What did it do? <laughs> it would. Like a marshmallow in the microwave, it goes Poop. It does. Wait, do we- are we doing banana too? Yeah. Yeah. That's All why right. you just cut one up. <laughs> I thought I was just having fun. That's my side, because it's got little pickles. They're itty bitty! Banana. Nanner! I, I really didn't cut these up very well, although I did a great job. Well, you had a seizure mind. while doing it. <laughs> Maple syrup on top. Let me bring that up. Oh. No one said it was gonna be clean. This actually smells really good too. I don't know quite how to eat this, but <laughs> drip and maple syrup. Yeah, you know. I don't really know how I feel about that. I love this. The fluff just turned, like, I don't know if it's all the juices on it, the fluff just turned into liquid. Every bite tastes different, because it all depends on what you get. It's a mishmash. <laughs> Every bite is so different. so unhealthy. This is Oh like, my god, I can feel my arteries hardening <laughs> as we speak. But every bite is different. Yeah, because you either get a little bit of banana, then you get more pickle, then you get more fluff, then you get more maple syrup. It's so weird and in a weird, good way. Yo, Messy. Bobby Hood. Did you did you come up with this? Because this is like, what what went on in your life that made you think of this? <laughs> Alright, but I'm, I'm giving it an 8. Seriously, you just give up all hope. You're like, eh, whatever. Bread, fluff. <laughs> Pickles, maple syrup, banana, whatever. Nine. Okay. Fantastic. Congratulations to last week's comment of the week winner. Remember guys, as always, links in the description below to follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Smash that thumbs up button if you liked the video and click over on that Mishmash circle to subscribe. Yep, remember your support motivates us to make better content, so hit that notification bell so you can alert when that next video posts. Click up there for that last video. We will see you guys next week. Later!